Hi, so this is milkweed. So this is milkweed. Uh, Asclepius is the genus uh, named for the Greek god of medicine, uh, Asclepius. So, hey, gee, I bet that's a medicinal plant, right? Um, the root is the medicine and, uh, well, the latex too we use. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but the root is principally what we're using as the medicine. And it has some important properties that are very useful. Uh, one is it's, it's quite good for kidney stones. And it's also good for kidney weakness, for helping the kidneys do their job better. Even for damaged kidneys is sort of a kidney restorative, uh, pretty good. You wanna harvest the root after uh, the pods have seeded and, and you know, late summer, early fall. It's a perennial plant. Uh, so, you know, the roots are gonna be there regardless, but that's the best time. That's when the, the medicine is the most potent. Um, you can also use it as a, uh, an expectorant. Um, you can use it in cases of bronchitis and respiratory infections, things like that. And you can also use the, the latex uh, for warts. And uh, milkweed has a really um, thick white latex uh, in the sap. And it's actually not the sap of the plant. It's actually something else it's making. Uh, and it's, it's actually a deterrent to the monarch butterflies that eat milkweed. Um, but anyway, you can take that white latex and put it on a wart and it'll it'll kill the wart. Um, and most of the latex plants will do that. You can do that with, uh, you know, prickly lettuce and dandelions and any of those guys with the white sappy latex um, can be used topically for warts. Uh, and, you know, speaking of, of warts, um, you can also use milkweed for gallbladder attacks. And I don't, I don't know really what that has to do with warts, but, but you can do that too. Uh, so <laughs> if you have gallbladder problems, try some milkweed root on that too. Anyway, Asclepius, it's in the same genus as pleurisy root, which is another uh, famous uh, respiratory herb. But uh, anyway, milkweed. <laughs>